Hello and welcome once again to Top Dog TV's Short Sport Short. Today will be a little bit of a change from the normal as we delve into the world of Formula 1. In 2004, promoters were looking for a way to increase the buzz around forthcoming Hollywood movie Ocean's 12. The world of Formula 1 with its fast cars and beautiful people was seen as the perfect backdrop. With Monaco being the most popular and most glamorous Grand Prix of them all, that was chosen as the setting. Somehow, in a race series that featured the most glamorous car manufacturer of them all, Ferrari, fighting at the front, the promoters decided to choose Jaguar, a perennial bat marker, as their partners in this promotion. While that might have seemed like a bizarre decision on its own, it was nothing like as bizarre as some of the decisions that followed. I am not sure the promoters had seen the film at all, or perhaps they just got caught up in watching all the A-list celebrities fighting for screen time. However, the film's plot revolved around the elaborate heist of a priceless Fabergé egg. Somehow, the promoters decided that the best way to promote this film would be to borrow two extremely valuable diamonds from an Israeli jeweller called Steinmetz. Things got even more crazy when they decided that the best way to display those two diamonds, valued at $300,000 each, would be to strap them to the nose of a Formula 1 car. Even though Monaco is the slowest Grand Prix on the Formula 1 circuit, cars still regularly reach speeds in excess of 300 km per hour. The Jaguar drivers are now expected to race on the most difficult track on the Formula 1 calendar, with an expensive diamond strapped to the nose of their car. Worse was to come as no insurance company could be found that was crazy or stupid enough to insure the diamonds. The only positive I can think of so far is that at least the promoters were showing some originality. After all, in Hollywood, originality is not usual. Even the film they were promoting was a sequel to a reboot of an old film. On the race day, Jaguar driving duo Mark Webber and Christian Kleon lined up at the starting grid, ready to begin. I'm sure you can guess at what's going to happen next. Yes, that's right, there was a crash. Yes, it involved a Jaguar. On the very first lap at Lowe's Corner. With Monaco being a two-hour race and track safety regulations forbidding Jaguar from recovering the car until after it had finished, there was now a long period where the diamond was just sat on the nose of a car out there. A Jaguar team spokesman called Nav Sidhu said, At that point, I probably should have been worried about the car or driver, but I must admit my immediate thought was for the diamond. I am sure he's not the only one whose first thought was for the diamond, as it vanished, never to be seen again. With the area having seen a mass scrimmage of spectators trying to get near the car, it has never been established what exactly happened to the diamond. Did some lucky spectator walk away with a huge diamond in their pocket, or was it all an elaborate plot to advertise the movie? I guess we will never know the answer to that question. That's it for another edition of Top Dog TV's Short Sports Shorts. Thank you for listening.